First, determine the side of the vehicle you'll be starting on. You always want to start on the side where the brake caliper is on your right. This way, you can do all the setup in the right side up position, making the second side even easier. Hang calipers with S-hooks provided in accessory kit. Never hang calipers by the brake hoses. When setting up the Pro-Cut lathe, it's important to make sure that all mating surfaces of the hub, rotor, and Pro-Cut adapter are very clean. Remember, you're trying to achieve a lateral runout of less than half the thickness of a dollar bill. A small flake of rust or dirt could change the outcome of that work. We suggest the use of an abrasive hub cleaning tool available from ProCut as part number 37-996. Select the correct adapter and spacers for your vehicle application. To find the correct adapter, go to our adapter search and look up the vehicle by make and model. The adapter search will tell you the bolt pattern, part number of the ProCut adapters that will work, past and present, and give you a picture of the adapter to help match it to the kit you have. Next, mount the adapter and select the best nuts for the application. Some wheel nuts will not fit well with the ProCut adapters, and you may need to use the nuts provided in either the 50-179 kit that comes with every lathe, or the optional ProCut 50-175 speed nut kit. For nuts from the vehicle or the 50-179 kit, evenly tighten all nuts in a star pattern by hand. Do not use an air-operated impact gun. The torque is too high and could damage the adapter. For nuts provided in the 50-175 speed nut kit, use a 12 volt or less battery-operated quarter-inch drive impact gun. Only 12 volt or smaller impact guns will provide the correct amount of torque to protect the adapters from damage. Even torque is important and you must tighten in a star pattern. When attaching the machine to the adapter, both the face of the adapter and the face of the lathe flange should be flush against each other so there is no space between them. You'll know you have it right if the drawbar knob spins in freely by hand. Due to the self-compensating design of ProCut lathes, the trolley must not be in a bind either on the floor or in either the vertical or camber shock travel range. Put another way, not all the way topped or bottomed out and not all the way cambered forward or back. Now tighten the drawbar by hand only. <laughs>